Hi and welcome to Jules Zender Plays Random DOS Games. So there's this amazing archive online of old DOS games and Sega Mega Drive games and loads of just old stuff. Some of it's abandoned where some of it's not, but I thought I'd have a go and play some of the games of my childhood. So this is The Secret Island of Dr. Quandry, which I absolutely loved when I was a kid. Uh, we had it on our awesome computer when I was a child and me and my sister used to while away the hours on this so I thought I would give it a go so I'm going to try it on the hardest difficulty which I think I'm going to regret because it's a lot of logic puzzles and I was always pretty useless at them but it's still have for kids right it'll be fine it'll be fine so um so yeah so this is the game so let's get right in there see if I can remember I don't know what all the controls are because they're just mapped to the keyboard randomly it seems so we'll see if I can work it out Aha, there we go, now we're in. So the story of this game is that you are at a carnival and then this creepy guy traps you inside the body of a doll and you have to solve puzzles to escape. Hello, Dr. Q. It is your lucky day. I am offering you a free game of troubleshoot. If I win, I shall give you your choice of one of these fine dolls. Excuse me, did I say dolls? I meant to say lifelike action figures. See the troggle in the box marked target? Get this mouse off the screen. Uh, shoot as many of them as you can as fast as you can. Commence firing whenever you are ready. Okay. So you can do this with the mouse if I recall, but it's easier with this because it locks onto the middle of each row. Right. So you have to, tr you've got a limited number of bullets and there isn't actually a time limit if I recall. But it's easier to shoot them on the bottom, but there's none of those coming along the bottom. So I've got to shoot the one that says is the target and not shoot the others. Dang it. And it's getting the timing right. <laughs> oh, way too soon, way too soon. <sighs> okay, so the bottom one, you don't need much of a delay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right, get the timing down. Okay, so we got one. I'm not going to try the back row at all. That's just not going to go well. Uh, ah, yes. Okay, it's not too bad, not too bad. So this isn't the most... Uh, this isn't the most exciting part of the game. This is like the weird intro that it has where you have this little mini-game. Oh, no! No! I hit a bad thing. I hit a bad thing. Okay, four shots left. Make them count. It's gonna give me any of the right kind. Ah, ah, oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, one left. Yes. Eleven's not bad. Yay, I win! Far too excited about that. <laughs> Before you choose a prize, I must warn you. The prize you choose will have a dramatic effect on your future. These are not your ordinary lifelike action figures. In fact, sometimes you'd swear they were alive. Let me tell you about them. This is beginner. It's harmless, mostly. This is ordinary, a nice middle-of-the-road mellow fellow. And this is difficult. It could be a real pain in the posterior. Now think it over and pick the one you want. Well, I'm definitely not going to do beginner, but should I do the hard one or the middle one? Just I know some of the puzzles I'm really bad at. But surely that was just when I was a kid. Oh, you know, if I get stuck on a puzzle. I'm just going to give up, so I'm going to do the middling one. And if it's too easy, I can always just start again. So, yeah, we'll do that. Are you sure you want ordinary? It's tougher than beginner, and not as tough as difficult. Tell me again the one you want. Yes, I want ordinary. And now, creepy hand. <laughs> oh, check out those graphics. <laughs> Meanwhile, far out at sea. What the? What happened? What happened to me? 
Hmm, this looks like a bag of tokens. I'll just slip it into my pocket. Let's go check out this bottle. Well, if it isn't the proverbial message in a bottle. Dear sucker, ha, you have fallen into my trap. I have implanted your mind into the body of a doll and transported you to my secret island. Unless you can solve all of my puzzles and meet all of my challenges, you'll never see your body again. You'll be a real nobody. Get it? Nobody? Ha 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 ha. Yours, Q Lee. I think I'll pocket the bottle, but I might as well recycle the note. Yay, recycling. Hey, a receipt. What does it say? Dr. Q's Fixer Elixir. Ingredients. Okay, so this is the stuff we need to get to make the potion. So we need bilge water, tadpole wannabes, beach balm, one thorny issue, hair from the king, a 1040 rebate, recycled paraffin, ape aid, a can of junkyard juice, rock huggers hugging you, the prisoner holder, gas that's greener on the other side. Gas that's greener on the other side, not grass. So get the ingredients, find a big pot, put everything in it, heat it till it's hot, it's so hot you can't drink it, and then drink it. Cool. Right, do I have to come back with the mouse now? No. Just, yep, yeah, okay, cool. Right, so I can't remember exactly what's... Is there anything off to the side? Nope. Just the beach. All right, well, let's head... Um, head up into the jungle. I guess there's only one thing to do. Hit the trail in search of Dr. Quandry's puzzles. Okay. So I do remember these. So here we have the big cave, which is a maze that you have to solve. And then there's a door there, which is like a fill in the pieces kind of thing. So I think we'll do that first. That's a fairly easy one. To get off my island, you must pass through this portal. It's a little diversion I call, let's make a door. Go ahead, make my door. Okay, so I can't move with the arrows. Uh, the mouse again? No. What are the keys? Ooh, how do I do this? Bear with me. Ooh, so I can toggle between them. Ah, there we go, okay. Okay, I've worked it out. I've worked it out. So I have to toggle between the pieces using tab, and then I can move them with the arrow. Space, let's go. How do I rotate? Shift, control. Um, okay, I'm just going to hit buttons now. Um, oh, so I can move it down with Z, up with A. No obvious left and right from those. Ooh, and down with also with M. F with J. Right with K. What is this? I'm sure there's a way to rotate. Okay, and I can also move with six. <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous. Oh, okay, so I can move with the arrows on the number pad. That's what's doing that. Oop, that opened up the... I didn't want that. Go away. No. Back off. This is all going very wrong. <laughs> if I tell it to save, maybe it'll... Uh... No. Can't save. Oh, how do I get out of this now? Because I'm sure as a kid we used to do this with the mouse. But obviously it's an emulating thing, so... It doesn't always work to plan. Control and right arrow to rotate a piece. Read the instructions. All right, <laughs> and move it in little ink. Ah, we go. Okay, okay. We got it now. Okay, solve the problem. Re uh, RTFM. Great. Right. <laughs> okay, so we got to solve this puzzle. We got to build this shape. Okay. So if we get these pieces, uh, what was rotate again? Control? Yeah. Sometimes, yep, just helps to read the instructions. 
everything kind of matches. I can't remember how accurate you have to be with this. Right, um, I'm gonna try and get that in next, I think. I'm gonna guess at the top. I'm gonna stick this in, like so. Right, so this is just gonna be a lot of me messing about, not entirely sure how to do this. Hmm. How about if we try this in that corner there? Okay. Now if we rotate this one like that and stick it in the middle. Okay, then right, grab this nice parallelogram. And pop it in like so. Maybe we can get these two little guys in here and it'll be happy with that. Yeah, I really can't remember how accurate you had to be with the placing. So this might not work. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, I don't think that's quite. Oh no! Yay! Success. That was a happy noise. Right, so we've hopefully now got a piece. So if we go to uh, check your pockets, so that's F6, okay. So we've got some chewing gum. I don't have that at the beginning. Okay, so I don't think we've got a reward for that. Hopefully that's fine. Okay, so let's go and check out uh, Mr. Monkey. Hello there, I am William Apesphere. If from the island you want to escape, you must win a game I call Ape the Ape. Do as I do, and when you're all through, <clears throat> you'll win a tin cup full of gobbledygoo. Okay, so we've got to match the pattern. Okay, just four. Oops. <laughs> okay. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, okay, I can do it. <laughs> okay, slightly before I think. That didn't count? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, one drop you can do, but can you do two? So four, four. Okay, that's nice and easy. <laughs> nice and easy, she says. One. That didn't count. Two. There we go. All right, you've done two. How does three sound to you? So four, four, one. Okay. Four, four, one. Three times is easy. But does four make you queasy? Four, four, one, two. Four. Did that go in? Four. I'm not sure if the first one went in. I don't think it did. No, it didn't, that's fine. One, two. Whew, up to now it's been nothing but jive. Let's see how you do when the number is five. Four, four, one, two, two. Four, no, it didn't go in. Four. That one did though. Four. One. Two. Two. Yay. Five times is a breeze. Now do six if you please. Four. Four. One. Two. 
to four. Four, four, one, two, no, that one missed. Two, four, six times isn't bad, but seven is rad. God, these rhymes. Four, four, one, two, two, four, three. Four, four, no, I can go in. Four, one, two, two, four, three. Three! Congratulations! Enough is enough. No more will I do. You've won the tin cup full of gobbledygoo. Yay! We've got things. Ah. Oh. Right, well. I think that is a good place to leave the first episode of Dr. Quandry. So hopefully you will join me for the next episode where we solve more puzzles in a fairly slow and not particularly interesting manner. But hopefully it will get a bit more interesting as we go along. Or at least I'm having fun. I'm having nostalgia moments. It's all good. I hope that you've also played this game and, you know, go, go ahead. It's for free. It's online on the link. I, I will leave the link in the description so you guys can go play if you never played it before or if you played it as a kid and miss it, as I did. So... Thank you for watching and hopefully join you for the next episode.